Ariel Hawani post-fight at UFC 160 alongside Dennis Bermudez, who just defeated Max Holloway tonight. And Dennis, it seems like the, the media consensus thought you lost the fight. Why do you think you deserve to win it? Um, I had more takedowns. I was pushing the pace. Wasn't backing up. Uh, I feel like I dominated that third round as well. Um, um, I think I did better. Did you think before they announced the judges' scorecards that you had won the fight? Were you confident? Um, I felt like that Grice fight, you know, I was like, ah, this, this could go, you know, to the judges. Well, I mean, it did go to the judges, but I mean, it, could, it might not go my way. Uh, I was conscious of it. And uh, sometimes you got to, you know, be ready for the worst if you're going to expect the best. For the, you know. Why does it feel like you need to kind of get hit a few times to get going in a fight? Uh, I think... We're, we're working on every camp where, you know, we're going to take that out. Um, guys get lucky, I feel. I don't know. Like, it seems like I might dip just the wrong way, just, just like, right into their punches or something like that. And uh, maybe I just need to get that one out of the way to, to get a victory, I guess. I don't know. On the flip side, it shows that you don't get rattled. You know, if, if things may not start your way, you keep, you know, you're poised. You keep confident. I mean, that could be a positive, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, I know when we're sparring over, you know, uh, my striking coach, Keith Trimble, is, you know, if a guy starts lighting that guy up, it's not like, oh, give him a break. Like, it's, you know, drop your drop the guy you're working with, you know. Make him work. Make him fight, at, you know, through some, some diversity and stuff like that. So, I mean, there's times in the room where a guy belts me and my hands drop because I'm, maybe I'm fixing my head gear or something, and they just keep wailing away. So you, you got to be able to work through it, and it, and it shows in these fights. He seriously hurt you at any point in the fight? Did you feel that way? Um, I wasn't aware that it hit me with a spinning back kick. Um, it wasn't until in between rounds. I went like, to the stomach. No, he, he hit me in the head. Oh, I, I, the one to the stomach looked pretty bad as well. No, it was just a push. Okay. Yeah, I was alright with that all right. one. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, he got a, f a few hooks here and there, but I, I don't think anything more than wh what I hit him with. So right now you've won four in a row in the UFC. Uh, you know, you, you, you sort of were talking about on my show how you wanted to get that respect. You were on the Facebook prelims the last fight. You did get bumped up. Here you're on the, uh, the FX prelims. Do you feel like you've done enough to start getting that respect that you think you deserve at 145? Yeah, a thousand percent. Uh, Max is, he's definitely a tough guy. Um, he's going to move up the ranks and become, you know, a force to be reckoned with uh, as he gets older and more experienced. Um, but I, I caught an early Max. Um, but yeah, but he's still tough. He's tough as, as any of the 45 pounders in the division. And uh, I put on a show with him and I'm, you know, I'll fight anybody and I think I can win against anybody. I'm getting ready for a title. Do you feel like the critics view you as a top tenner, maybe even a top eight or top seven guy? Whether they do or don't, uh, me and my team believe I'm a top ten guy and we train that way and, and we're, always, we're always trying to get better and get ready for, for guys and even the top five, you know, so we're always trying to improve our skills and everywhere, you know, so I, I think I'm top ten, you know, whether the media does not or not, they can go, you know, blank themselves, but I think I am. You know your skill set, do you feel like you're, you're ready right now or maybe one or two fights away from challenging the top three guys? Um, yeah, one on one or two away from, from a top three guy, a thousand percent. All right, well, we look forward to watching you make that climb. Congratulations on a win tonight. Thank you.